All righty, we have a really packed short update. I'm going to try and keep all mine pretty short moving forward just to keep your attention and not repeat myself and be boring. But nonetheless, lots is going on and we finally have a solid confirmation of where the 2023 trend... Uh, attraction will go whether it's plural it probably is plural just because of what we're seeing but as you can see dinosaurs alive has been quite the area of um action that's been going on a lot of construction markers back there um and we can confirm as of yesterday construction and equipment is now parked behind dinosaurs alive so uh construction equipment has arrived behind there very similar to a sister park worlds of fun uh, there's too many markers back here to ignore, and kids are desperately in need of an expansion. In fact, they are in such need of an expansion in Kidsville that they are building new patios for this current season out of nowhere, as you're seeing right here. Now, I don't know for sure if this is a patio. There are construction markers back here as well. But from what we could tell, there was a retaining wall going in and a, a flat slab of concrete and it was right behind the funnel cake stand in um, Planet Snoopy. So I'm assuming it's just going to be a new patio for this season. It's They would never build something like this this far in advance for 2023. Again, Wonderland is seeing some really solid attendance numbers for the very beginning of the season, which is probably leading to a lot of investments. Now, for those of you that don't know, Splashworks is receiving a lot of attention this year as well. In fact, currently, Splashworks is almost 100% getting a repaint. Uh, from what we could tell, almost every slide in Splashworks is being repainted right now. The Wave Pool was repainted, uh, Lazy River was repainted, Black Hole was repainted last year, and they're installing all these timber kits. So definitely a lot of money being poured into Splashworks, which could lead us to a water park expansion in 2023 with Planet Snoopy. Um, but that being said, fireworks are being set up. Mindbuster had a lot of action going around it, but they were just Wonderland employees, so nothing of significance. Don't worry, but just wanted to talk about that. Lots of action and people watching walking around Mindbuster. Um, I'm trying to think of what else I'm missing. Fireworks are obviously going this weekend. The restaurant is looking absolutely stunning. I'm so excited. All the dark windows they're putting in and the dark doors, like it looks so good. Look at the angle. Imagine when it's done. This is going to be so beautiful. Um, but I'm just so excited. Wonderland has a ton of money being poured into it. They had Cedar Fair execs at the park yesterday walking around, and you can tell they were looking for areas of improvement, just the way they were pointing and everything, and directing the Wonderland staff. So I'm really excited for the future of this park, especially with the attendance numbers they're pulling right now. We're hearing from everyone that works at the park that this is, like, not what they were expecting. So it's definitely really good numbers to be pulling that are going to turn into investments. And it already looks like Cedar Fair had the eye on investing in this park. So it's truly exciting um, to think what possibly more could be coming after this. Um, but, yeah, there's two more things I had to tell you. What were they? Um, oh yes, Windseeker. Windseeker should be up and running in about a week and a half to two weeks. They are putting it back together. They finally got the go. Uh, again, it was just a simple uh, manufacturer recall on something. Um, and Riptide will be up and running this weekend as well. They were just training the crew after putting the ride back together and making it operational. Anyways, thanks for watching the video today. Hope you guys had an amazing uh, week and you're going to have an amazing long weekend. Thanks for watching. Have a good one, guys. Bye.